Well, historic flooding hit the River Valley over a month ago, and today some people in Fort Smith are still without a home. KWA's Lauren Craycall is live in Fort Smith to show us how flood survivors are trying to rebuild what they lost. Lauren. Crystal Kimberly Winnicky and her family moved from Minnesota in April 2008 and the flood completely washed everything away in their home. It's been a long process trying to get things back to normal, but she says it's coming together slowly but surely. Flood waters have receded, but flood victims in the River Valley still feeling the aftermath. I feel like I've been living out of my car for two months. Kimberly Winnicky and her family have been out of their house since May 24th when the waters reached inside their home. We're a foster family, so we want to get open as quickly as possible so we can have more kids. A heavy burden Winnicky and her husband have been carrying for months after losing everything. We had tons of toys. I had tons of little kids' books that I had collected, so I had a good library. Rebuilding that Winnicky says doesn't come without a hefty price tag. Every time I write a check, I cringe because I'm like, I never thought I'd be writing checks, $5,000 checks for stuff. Fort Smith City Director Neil Martin says the city decided to waive the building permit and inspection fees connected with repairing homes, destroyed in the historic floods to help families like Winnikeys who have already lost so much. Even though they're going to be spending money uh, to rebuild the house, we can, the city at least can uh, provide some relief from that. Winnicky says the help from the city and the community keeps her afloat, but doesn't want people to forget Fort Smith is still struggling. I wish I could just blink my eyes and this house would be put back together. Winnicky and her family hope to move back into their home by the end of August to start fostering children again. Live in Fort Smith, Lauren Craycall, KNWA, Northwest Arkansas News. All right, thank you, Lauren. Well